was a rehearsal for a ballet. Today we are going to stage a new ballet and I'm going to tell you about it. The creation of a ballet involves music and painting as well as dancing, so it's a rather complicated affair. As it usually takes several months for the choreographer, that is the dance producer, the composer and the artist to work it out, I shall only give you an impression of what happens. The language of ballet is French. Foyte, entrechat, pas de bourre, pirouette, glissade, jeté. But I shall try to give you the English equivalents. Dancing is a disciplined art. The body, the head, the legs and feet, the hands and arms, all have their basic positions. Take the hands, for instance. The hands are as important as the feet, and like everything else in dancing, their positions are carefully studied and controlled. There are five principal positions of the arms, the head, and the feet, and every dancer must be able to achieve these positions with style and precision. The positions of the head are simple, turned, inclined, erect and back now the head is lowered here you see the dancer standing in the fifth position the starting point for most steps she takes an attitude and now she does an arabesque you can see that balance is essential to a dancer. To give an air of lightness, girls go onto their toes, or on points as we call it. She is doing a step called pas de bourre, running on points. Men do not go on points to convey lightness. They achieve their effects by jumps, turns, and beats. This particular beat is called a cabriole. First a single, then a double. Now turns, which are done either on the ground or in the air. A leap. Now to do that kind of thing, dancers must exercise all the time. Their exercises are based on positions, like those you've just seen, and are the necessary training for the steps on which a ballet will eventually be built. Let's see the dancers at practice. First supported by a bar. Then the same exercises, away from the bar. The exercises develop into broader movements.
The basic movements in classical dancing are bending, stretching, rising, sliding, jumping, darting, and turning. These basic movements are capable of infinite variation and develop naturally into steps. The steps are then arranged into dances. This is an allegro or quick dance. It uses three of the basic movements which you've just seen. dancer is turning. Now she is jumping. Now darting. choreographer Andre Howard who with the composer and the artist will create our ballet. The choreographer is responsible for the production and invention of the steps and actions which make up the dancers that form a ballet. These then have to be taught to the dancers by demonstration and word of mouth. All right, um, when you do the beginning of the dance keep it very smooth and light on the arabesque, change the mode completely and give me a very strong movement. All right, let's see it. This is an adagio, or pas de deux, a dance for two people, and is used in most ballets to convey the love theme. So the movements are designed to give a romantic feeling. Sliding, stretching and rising. is supported by a partner, she can do very slow and controlled movements and long series of turns. The composer, Arthur Benjamin, has worked on the idea of the ballet from the beginning. He works closely with the choreographer, explaining points in his music and making alterations as the dancers take shape. It should be all right now. For the next dance, I'm going to suggest a serene tune on the solo strings and underneath a fluttering figure on the flutes, like this.
pas de trois, a dance for three people. In this dance, particular use is made of arm movements and pas de bourre. In the ballet, these three dancers play the parts of goddesses, so the movements used here are designed to give grace and dignity. Ballet needs a stage with scenery and costumes. The artist, Hugh Stevenson, discusses his designs and plans with the stage manager. Look, Harry, behind these three pedestals are the doors through which the four men enter. So we'll have to keep it well up to stage. <laughs> Pas de quatre. In this case, a dance for the four men who will play the character parts in our ballet. Dancers are using all the vigorous movements, beats, leaps, and turns. In their solos, each of them will use a different series of these movements according to the part he is playing. Things are moving. Behind the scenes, people have been painting scenery, making costumes, and generally preparing for the first performance. A ballet is beginning to take shape. In this, you will see the positions, movements, steps, and dances that you've been watching. But now they will be used to tell a story. Once upon a time, there was a charming girl. She was in love. But there were three goddesses who watched over her and who wished to make certain that she had made the right choice. To test her feelings for the young man, they present her with four suitors. One of them is her true love in disguise. He offers her only a kiss, but the others try to win her with dazzling gifts. One tempts her with the rose of poetry. Another woos her with a magic bird in a golden cage. A third lures her with power and great riches. Goddesses live in an enchanted grotto. Our heroine's friends come to dance in the grotto. It is the night of the year on which the goddesses will appear. The artist, the choreographer, the composer have played their parts. Now the dancers will play theirs. You've seen this ballet in the making. You've seen how the positions were developed into steps, how these steps were assembled into dances. Now you will see how the arts of dancing, music and painting join together to present you with a ballet. The stage is set, the dancers are ready. So, let's have the curtain up.